these are more or less are going to be your focus skills. Okay? This is these are injuries that you're likely to find during your rapid trauma assessment. Okay. All right. Right there on the board is what we're going to what we're going to go through. All right. And then you all can practice. All right. They're pretty straightforward. Nothing much to them. All right. First one I'm going to show you is the abdominal evisceration. All right. There are two. Two different methods for managing this injury, okay? A wet method or a dry method, okay? For the most part, we all practice, myself, Gary, um, Jeff, Kerry, all of us uh, practice the dry method, okay? Now, with an abdominal evisceration, what type, what, what's going on? Intestines are... got organs, exactly. Abdominal organs protruding. They're hanging out. They're showing, all right? So what we're going to do first, all right, is first stabilize. Okay, so I need you to come down here and basically stabilize. Now this is if any abdominal organs are out. Okay, we need to pretty much keep them from. Yeah, there you go. We need to pretty much keep them in place from sliding around. Depending on how much they could fall off and be on the ground or whatever. Okay, are we going to put them back in? No. All we're going to do is stabilize in place, right on top. Okay. Now right here's what we've got simulating that. So for the most part, what your job is with gloves on, right, is to keep those kind of stabilized. First thing I'm going to do is find an occlusive dressing. Okay? An occlusive dressing does what? Seals it off. Seals it off. Seals air. Okay? Now, again, wrapping anything in plastic, what are you going to do to hide inside of it? Sweat, right? So, the whole idea with plastic or the abdominal organs is it's going to keep it moist. Okay? The abdominal organs are already moist. So we're going to place that over top. My <coughs> partner here is going to hold that in place. And then the next thing we want to do is maintain body temperature. With as much surface area, the abdominal organs protruding, there's a lot of heat lost. Okay? So what we're going to do is basically, while he's stabilizing, we're going to layer the warmth of the tissue trauma pads over top. Okay? I'm going to lay this one right here over the over the middle, I lay this one overlapping to one side. This next one overlaps to the other side. That way we don't have any openings. Everybody follow me there? All right. We're going to take another one and basically secure all of them together. Does that work for you? Yeah. Okay. Now, what can we use to secure this in place? Cravats, okay? Cravats, which always the first rule, I know you all learn next door, we always do what with the cravats? Fold them. Fold them, right? So same thing, fold the cravat. Now, to secure this, where is there a natural void already? Under his back. Exactly, the lumbar region of the back, right? We already have a natural void. We're going to take these and fold them. Okay. Need two of them. Anybody seen the trick with using a board split to actually pass them under the back? So you have a board. Now again, this particular type of injury, what else do we want to be aware of? We've already got an injury to the front. What could possibly be going on? Okay. It could be penetrating through the back. So again, that's why we check the back, right? Okay. Okay. So just kind of, a, just kind of a trick to make things a little easier. Take both the cravats, fold it, and we're going to pass them underneath the lumbar region. There you go. There you go. I partner can catch those on the other side, right? I'll pull the board out. Now, what you all are going to, what, what we're going to be pinging on you all later with is uh, anytime you're wrapping anything or splinting or doing any of these types of things, we don't want to see you moving. No excessive movement. So, when we're securing, we're securing these cravats, right, we'll find out which one's which, separate them and scissor them. Back and forth. That way, I'm not moving him around. Okay, scissor back and forth. And then we want to secure this. Move your knee. Everybody, 
secure this off to one side. Okay? Don't tie it directly over top. That's where the organs are sticking out, right? So secure it off to the side with your surges knot. Pull it secure and it's safe to your knot. What do we always do with the tails? Tuck them in. Okay? Same thing with above. Scissor it back and forth. Basically, really all we're doing is a pouch. Now, where I secure it on the right side low, I'm going to go to the upper side high. Oh, you see that? Make sense? Tie it off. Is it just to secure it, or are we going to do a slightly tight, tighten to just secure it? Secure. Oh, yeah. Now, the last thing we can do here with this type of injury, because of what's already been penetrated to allow the organs to come out, is the abdominal muscles have been torn. Right? So if you flex at your knees, bring your knees up a little bit. Does that take some of the tension off the abdomen? Okay. So that's all we're doing. So I got that? Okay. Remember your knots. Off. Okay, it doesn't matter which one's which as long as they're opposite of one another. Okay? Plastic. And then keep them warm. That's all it is. Okay, flex at the knees. Stay right like that? Sure. Never over. 